often got asked questions at that time. Admiral, what keeps you awake at night? And the answer was pretty simple. Aircraft fasteners, nuts and bolts that held components onto airplanes, such as wings, wing bolts. Now, there were no wings that fell off during my tenure, fortunately, but there were numerous aircraft groundings as a result of faulty bolts, and in some cases, counterfeit bolts. Given that there are over four million repair parts, inspecting everything to the 100% level was not practical. So a technology solution was needed, and it's there today. Using advanced botanical DNA to forensically mark, validate, and authenticate parts throughout the supply chain is mission critical today and into the future. With no impact of form, fit, or function, our signature DNA can be applied onto or embedded into a virtually limitless range of commodities. And our cloud-based DNA registry allows any of our customers involved in the supply chain to independently trace provenance, access test or traceability documentation, and report on validation and authentications. Our single platform provides forensic authentication for a wide variety of shapes, sizes, and substrates of critical DOD commodities. It started in 2009 with two DLA R&D programs to mark and track parts as they pass through the supply chain. A leading international lab performed a red team challenge to defeat the signature DNA mark. Not once was a technology defeated. By 2011, DLA formally embraced DNA marking for its long-term asset traceability. And in 2014, a DNA marking lab was established at the Product Test Center in Columbus, Ohio. Currently, over 700,000 microcircuits have been DNA marked, 150,000 of which have been marked by DLA. In 2014, Applied DNA Sciences won a competitive Rapid Innovation Fund contract from the Office of the Secretary of Defense to demonstrate the capability to mark and authenticate a diverse range of products across 66 additional federal supply classes. The Missile Defense Agency continued with its attention to microcircuit protection with an SBIR Phase II contract for higher volume marking, replicating that of manufacturers or OCMs. It all comes down to trust. The men and women we trust to keep us safe every day should be able to trust the tools we give them to do their jobs. If you get a counterfeit part into a weapon system, that weapon system is likely to malfunction and not be able to do its job in a time of combat, in a time of war. And the result of that could be the loss of life, the loss of a fighter pilot's life, or the loss of troops on the ground that that pilot is trying to support. 